Hey guys, we are back with uh, the crew of Sonic and Tails R. I got uh, Emmy Jones here, and I will let her do the introductions to this panel and let her take it from here. There you go. Thank you so much. Okay. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Hi, um, I also have with me Dorian Nelson, my co-director. Yo. Say hello, Dorian. Oh, I did. What's up? <laughs> is it not okay, is, and... is, is the is the feed not work is it weird like is it is it not working no you're is good it... you're good you're good i think okay, there was sweet. like a, a lag or any, or something um and we also have uh our voice of sonic the hedgehog ryan drummond hey everybody <laughs> hi guys thank you so much for tuning in we really really appreciate it we have a bunch of stuff yes. we have a bunch of stuff to talk about today and i guess we'll go ahead and get right into it if you want to dorian do you want to talk about uh, uh, our announcement? Yes. Okay. So the the very first thing we want to do to start off the panel today is make a bit of an announcement. Um, uh, one of the fun things about Sonic and Tails are is a lot of the guests uh, that we have showing up um, for each episode. So we thought um, of a great way to be able to extend that, and uh, we want to come up with a thing called uh, Sonic and Tails R Plus. Now, the idea of this is to show stories uh, in between the episodes um, of what's happening with other characters aside from Sonic and Tails or whatever is happening in that particular kind of episode. So, uh, for example, um, and uh, let's see, I think we have a plan for like chapter two. We're going to be seeing uh, what exactly did Amy do after Sonic and Tails left, um, left her to go uh, hunt for the, the, uh, the chaos symbols and things like that. We're going to be seeing some characters that... Um, that we've already visited, as well as some brand new ones. So look on uh, look on the way for that. When that's coming out, it's going to start in September. So look forward to that. Uh, as to where it's going to be hosted, uh, I'm still trying to still trying to work that out, but it will be here by September. Heck yeah! And look at that that amazing little announcement drawing. That's so cool. Thanks. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun to make because uh because um just a bit of a background on that. We had Amy in episode two when. Uh, Sonic and Tails went to go to Adabat, and um, I was thinking like this would be a fun little outfit that she could have on when she's there. Yeah, so coming September we have Sonic and Tails R Plus, so stay tuned for that. That'll be coming out uh, after the final episode of Sonic and Tails R. Yep, episode 10. All right, well I guess we can go ahead and move on. And we're going to talk a little bit just about Sonic and Tails R and just sort of like how we sort of started it and the process of everything. Dorian, do you want to, I guess, go ahead and get started with that? Uh, sure. Um, all right. So uh, let's see how it started. Okay. So basically, um, uh, as, as long as uh, Emmy and I have known each other, when we've done projects together, they either um, haven't come out or have been on an extremely like, long hiatus. So, oh, no. Um, so, uh, so like we've always been wanting to do something together for a really, really, really long time, and uh, an opportunity came to try to figure out something new to do, and um, there was an idea to create a a radio drama, and uh, basically, with everything happening with the pandemic, uh, everyone was locked at home, and it was just a horrible time. Everyone was just kind of caught in despair. It just was not a good time for anyone, and we thought that. Uh, creating something like this would be great um, to give people something to look forward to um, while, you know, things were kind of going crazy, uh, like out, outside and things. And so um, let's see what we, let's see if I can remember right, what we ended up doing was uh, both she and I just kind of like free formed how the story was going to turn out. And then I went to go write a write a synopsis for it that we both went over to see what was gonna gonna uh, gonna have happen. Then, uh, Ryan, I believe that we sent it to you to see what you thought of it. Yeah, I think that's right. I think okay. it was involved in the first uh, draft. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well, like in fact, you, you know what? I remember you uh, you uh, decided on the name because we had a couple of things for. It. I think it was between Sonic and Tails R and Sonic and Tails Radio Future. I think it was as a reference okay. to yeah, this game that came out and, and yeah when it came down to it you, you picked uh you picked uh, Sonic and Tails R so we ran with oh. that one. 
huh, I don't even remember that. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like, uh, so right after that happened, um, uh, we had, uh, let's see, R Ryan casted, like, from the get-go. And so uh, we pretty much assembled everyone, assembled, like, the entire team together in, in the group. And uh, so then we just... We started making episodes June 23rd, uh, 2020 is when we launched our first episode. And in fact, like this panel is even um, uh, dedicated to our first anniversary that's going to be coming up in about three days. Yeah, I can't believe it's been like almost a year since the weird? first episode came out, right? <laughs> weird. Um, as for Bluebird, um, yes, we will be taking questions um, in a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's man the origins and just how we sort of got started it was kind of crazy i remember kind of near the beginning um when we were coming up with with our story um i knew i wanted it to do with the emeralds having some kind of like large significance um mm. i had already had this sort of idea in my mind uh back when i was living in ohio i um would go to sleep at night and i would have kind of a hard time going to sleep and i would sort of imagine this scene of Sonic and Tails in a cave with like an emerald glowing and ironically enough that turned out to be the scene in episode two um but that's sort of how it got started I just told Dorian I don't know I just I have this this scene in my mind and what if you know they're doing something regarding the emeralds that's just never been done um before on a main title uh, Sonic game or story so <laughs> dreams do uh, come true friends dreams do yeah. come true right literally Literally, right. and, it, and it finally happened. We yeah. had a chance to tell this really cool story, and oh my gosh, I I just I can't wait for the the last four episodes to come out because the last four episodes are, are very vital to the story. I think we've had a lot of fun, you know, messing around, you know, having fun episodes where they're they're doing a bunch of goofy stuff. But really, during these last four episodes that we're having come out, um, they're going to be really, really like serious and have a lot to do with the the main story yeah 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 stuff's about to get real like it's um <laughs> it's it's yeah there's no turning back now from what we have um we have planned coming up and uh <laughs> and yeah you, you know what actually speaking of the cave scene that was yeah I, I remember that conversation that was the first um that went into uh when we were yeah going over the synopsis you're like okay we need to have this in there somewhere Please. so we had to figure out yeah, we had to figure out what we were gonna do with the chaos emeralds to make that um, to make that significant. Now, as to exactly, okay, because like I don't know if we're getting to spoilers if we say like what the purpose of that was. Okay, maybe when we start getting into like how we came up with the idea about what to do with the chaos emeralds. We'll save that till after the show's over. Yeah, sure. So that it doesn't yeah, so it doesn't ruin anything. Yes, we um, don't we don't wanna we don't wanna spoil like the big important stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and just, you know, and also like, you know, speaking of dreams coming true, like, you know, listen, like, uh, you know, I, I played, I played Sonic Adventure when I was six, it came out in 99. Mm -hmm. You know, if you had told me back then, uh, that I'd be, um, doing work with, with, with Ryan Drummond here, like, I would be like, <laughs> you're totally out of your mind, but yeah, here we are. <laughs> um, you know, yeah, it, it's, it's been, I mean, seriously though, like, um, you know, it's been a, um, it's been an absolute honor to to work with 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 Ryan and and many of the other guests that we have had on the show because they've had such a, a huge impact on us as fans and you know have uh, gone to the entertainment that we've you know we've absorbed and that have made us into the people who we are since we were kids, you know and um, it's just it's it's so cool like I remember like we got let's see remember when we got in the the lines for episode nine from Ryan's like I was oh on, okay God. okay I was in the car. <laughs> I was in the car and it really called me. She was like, I just finished recording with Ryan. And I'm just like, oh, well, how'd it go? She was just like, oh, we gotta listen to this. And this, we're like freaking out of the car. <laughs> like, trying, <laughs> trying to get home. You guys. So I'm good. all warm and fuzzy now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Like, your stuff has been great. And, and, you know, like, I'm curious from your perspective, uh, Ryan. Like, so what has it been like uh, working on the show with us? You know, I mean, mine has been fantastic from day one. Um, it's, I, th I think the whole concept is cool. I thought the plots were cool. The scripts were great. Like it's, <clears throat> and everything's been, it's been so pro the whole time. Um, it was, it was actually great getting to, to work against Mike Pollock too. That's something that I've always wanted to do. Speaking of wanting to work with people that you respect. And, um, it's, it's just been great. And it's, it's just been cool to, to dust off. I was just saying this to somebody last night where it was like, 
I forget what they said, but I, I just told him like, you know, Sonic, the Sonic voice has always been a part of me. And sometimes I get to do it every day. And sometimes I don't get to do it for weeks or months at a time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. So it was just so cool to have a project where I could get into the voice and do actual content, you know, with the voice uh, that's been a part of me now for, oh gosh, somebody give me a number, 23 years? I think so. Jeez. I think so, yeah, because you, yeah, because you went in, because, uh, okay, so the, the the game came out in 99, but you, you started right. in 98, right? Yeah, yeah, the audition and the first, uh, the first sessions were in 98, yeah. Right on. That's yeah, yeah. Some of our audience wasn't even born. <laughs> that's right it's been and a long time it's been a life so life. little yeah 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 it was really cool like um like i don't know if too many people know this story but just like um so like sonic had always been um let's see because like, we used to watch the cartoons like so i got into it in 97 like right when sonic team was kind of having this period of like transitioning into the dreamcast stuff um so actually, the first time I ever heard your Sonic voice was actually on a commercial. It was the oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it was the one with Sonic was a DJ and he's like, "Man, stay out the light speed." So I was like, "My bad," you know. That's the first oh, yeah. time. I heard your voice. Yeah, <laughs> I remember. Yeah, I remember flipping out about it like on TV. I was like, "Wait, wait, he sounds so different." Then when the game kind of came out, like <laughs> that just got right. all bitted. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> It was cool, man. Like, yeah, like you did a, um, like a, like a really awesome job, like with those old, those old, uh, those old games, and even coming back into the show, man. It's just like, it's just like you, you, you never left. The stuff is absolutely incredible. That's kind of what it felt like. It kind of just felt like, you know, in a way, it felt like a long time, and in a way, it felt like, oh, we, we just did this, you know. Yeah. The commercials and the games and the talking products and everything else that I was doing in the <clears throat> late '90s, early 2000s, and like, it kind of seemed like. It ha it hasn't been that long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it's it's weird. Yeah, it's 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 um it's weird because it's like you you have the the idea that like it, it's been a while, but just kind of when you get back in the groove of things, it's like well, I just I just came off of this thing yesterday or something like yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's been it's been absolutely cool to um yeah, and also like it's been really fun hearing you with with um with different <laughs> uh with different actors from different incarnations of of Sonic like different eras. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. like a sonic quilt. It's like we've taken parts from here and parts from here and made it into this whole new thing. Yeah, that actually, yeah. That actually reminds me, um, if I could ask really quick, um, was, yeah. it really, was it really cool getting to do an episode with Jason? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of, yeah, that was crazy. Um, it, you know, Jason and I, have like, the, the, the internet made us out to be brothers, and then they made us out to be mortal enemies, and then they made us out to be, you know, it's like everybody decided um, without any input from me or Jason what our relationship was like, and <laughs> and uh, when I was finally able to touch base with him, I was like, is this crazy what people are saying? And he was just like, oh, I can't even handle this, all this drama. <laughs> um, so it was great finally getting to, you know, be in the digital booth with him even though of course we still have never met in real life jason and i oh that's mm -hmm. crazy to think mm -hmm. you yeah yeah so like, much chemistry right well he's such a class act guy anybody who follows him he's, he does the funniest little videos and he's he's great so <laughs> it was very cool yeah. to work with yeah. him too yeah totally man like you look when i was going through the um when i was editing episode seven like just I was just, it was like the, the 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 relationship that you guys had, like how you guys played against each other, was absolutely incredible. It was it was really really well done. Seven? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, six. Oh, okay. Six. Sorry. Six. Six. Why am I saying seven? Oh, okay, like I, it's because okay, episode seven. Okay, like folks, I'm currently in the middle of editing episode seven as we speak. <laughs> so uh, you're ready for that very soon. It's hit us so full of sevens. Pretty much, yeah. It's all it's all full of sevens. Um. <laughs> But episode six, yeah, it was uh, it was great to hear um, to hear uh, uh, you guys play play against each other. It, it just it worked so 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 very well. Thank you. Yeah, I, it's, I'm really I've been really impressed with you know I don't I don't for anyone who doesn't know I don't get to kind of hear the final thing uh, until you all get to hear the final thing. Like I don't get an advanced copy or I'm sure I could I just never asked you know <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> So it's kind of cool because I just get to record my lines and um, that's a process that usually takes, oh, I'd say an hour to hour and a half per episode or something like that. And then like weeks later, 
this amazing episode comes out and I get to listen to how it turns out. And it's kind of, it's kind of neat to uh, only provide the bow and then you get to see the whole present, you know, when it comes out. <laughs> it's really neat. Yeah. 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 Like it's, it's so, yeah, it, it's, it's really great. And it's also, um, it, it, you know, like it's one thing I, I love to do. So like there'll be some times where like Emily will be like really, really excited about there's a, a particular take on a line that you said. I'm just like, well, well I can't. Cause like the way I, I like to work is like, so I like to hear the stuff that you have out as I'm editing the episode because it's like it helps me make the characters feel more natural when they say stuff. So like if there's one that sounds um, that that sounds uh, uh, better than another one, it's easy for, for me to pick that. So when I listen to it beforehand, um, it's like, OK, I already have a headspace as to what this sounds like. So it doesn't it's not as as natural when I'm editing it. Um, uh, like just just from my own just from my own thing, really, it's it's a. Um, I've I've uh, been able to discover that that was a that was a weird editing thing that I have. I'm very it's, it's like I, I kind of thrive on the spontaneousness of it. It's probably because of animation, maybe I'm I'm not sure. Um, but uh, um, yes, there'll be times where I'm like, okay, you have to use this one. Right, and I'm just like, but I haven't heard it yet. I want to just I, I want the experience. I need no, like the music and the it. sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> episode like, nine, I've already done uh, that to him. I said, all right, episode nine, you have to use these. You have to use this one right here and that one right here. Otherwise, I'll fight you. <laughs> and we all want to see that. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much how it goes. Like we just have like this this, this cage match as we're like behind the scenes there or something. But yeah, we um. But yeah, that's. But yeah, that that's usually how it um how it will go. She'll have um an idea about which which one needs to be used, which one will like will work the best, and you know like it always um it, like yeah most of the time it always it always does. Um, you know what, in fact, speaking of which, that might be a good time to go into the process of how we make these. Um, yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah, yes. I want to hear about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so like, okay, so how we work is that, okay, so we already went over how she and I went over the general synopsis on how things are going to work, uh, sent things to, to Ryan to see what he thought, if everything worked out well, and, um, and with that, uh, so there's a just like a, a small synopsis for each episode. Like this is the character that's going to appear, this is what's going to happen, and this is where they're going to conclude at the at the end of the episode. So then after that, I go to write it. Um, I write all the episodes and then I will send the episode over to 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 Emily and we'll go over it together um, to see like if everything sounds right, if a character sounds off, if something doesn't make sense or something like that. Yeah, and... I kind of handle the characterization check of like, okay, Sonic, Sonic wouldn't say that. Okay, you need to take that out. Or, okay, mm -hmm. hey, could you potentially maybe add something like this? I think that would be really fitting. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, yeah. She, she really, um, she, she really uh, keeps a lot of things um, uh, in, in, in check in terms of how the, the characters are supposed to behave and just making sure that no one sounds off and, and maybe like if I'm having like some weird crazy ideas about something to happen she's like reeling that back in like I think I think uh fun fact oh, for yeah. episode six for episode six okay like it was it was it was weird so something I wanted to do I wanted to put Sonic's soap shoes in there and oh, the way yeah. that was gonna yeah the way that was gonna happen was like okay so when uh like well real quick spoiler for anyone who hasn't seen it just like just for a little while um in episode five at the end uh eggman um basically like explodes <laughs> sonic and tails pretty much and it knocks him unconscious and so one thing i wanted to do was like sonic wakes up and is just really mad at the fact not that uh that eggman got away but just that his shoes were destroyed practically and so when he and shadow used used chaos control to go to station square he would uh go get another pair of shoes which would be like the sub shoes so we would have those on like the artwork uh for each episode which is done by the masterfully talented uh Ketrin the dragon um uh but um but that was way too much and it was that was way too much stuff to focus on and all that stuff's going on and she's like no no let's let's just go ahead and reel it in we need to kind of not, <laughs> not have that go on so 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 uh no, so yeah for you yeah, yeah, pretty much. I, I like, like the ah. shoes very much, but I was like, okay, well, but what about this and what about that? No, we we can't do that. It's it's nice in theory, but we have to. We got to reel it in. We can't we can't be doing all this stuff just for some shoes. Right, right, <laughs> absolutely. 
So right, right, totally. So so basically, after that happens uh, with the script, then uh, everything will go to our um, to the to the people we're going to be directing. So typically for the guests, uh, Amy and I handle those uh, together. Uh, and, uh, Amy will go and work with Brian. I will take uh, uh, the script and, and go work with Mike. Um, to to record uh, and good lord, Mike is so fast. Like I think we recorded like had to be like four episodes in like a half hour. <laughs> he's just oh like, my god. Yeah, he's he's this man, right? Yeah, he's yeah he's 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 um he's like abs absolutely talented person, like really really awesome um uh, person to work with. And and what's really cool too is that we, we we he was able to kind of mentor me a little bit when we were um doing doing the show. So like at one point, I think this happened on episode one. Uh, okay, so the do y'all remember the part when uh, Tails was was shooting like BBs um, at Eggman to get him to put his shields up? Um, in the original, in the script, originally it was supposed to say airsoft BBs, but when we were recording it, he was like, "Wait, wait, hold on, we can't, we can't do this one." Like, how come? He's like, "Because airsoft is a brand." I'm like, oh, is it? Is it really? I thought that was just like a regular term for just BBs, but yeah. Huh. So we took out, yeah. So we took out airsoft and we just had BBs in there and we just kind of got that. So like the. You know the professionalism um the way you know you handle working with actors and a lot of the 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 pitfalls you have you have to avoid as well as like just you know just having really great conversations with him like he was an absolute pleasure to work with doing this show um yeah it was great it was awesome uh, it was awesome working with him so um, so yeah, so, uh, so again, like Emmy will do her stuff with, um, with Ryan and then Emmy will send me Ryan's lines. Uh, I'll get my lines from, from Mike to which I'll send to Emmy to, to make sure everything works out well, everything's approved with that. And then, um, you know, we'll usually do the guests together. So we know how that sounds already. And, um, and then Emmy will record hers last. And then, uh, I go off to, um, to edit the, the episode and create a rough cut. The rough cut is then given to our brilliant uh, composer, um, uh, Evelyn. Uh, it, it, it's Cora, right? Her yes, her um, stage name. Okay, so we, we give it to to Cora, and she um, she uh, does the the score for it. So then, when I get that back, that's that's when I put on all of the um, the major sound effects, finalize everything, make sure everything is right, and then I'll make the I'll, I'll assemble the episode art because the the art that we have on the episodes are done by by Ketrin the Dragon. Uh, so with that process, I will make a draft and then send that to her to to recreate um, and she'll send me the final and then I assemble all that stuff together into one picture, make a video out of it. Um, and then Emmy and I will watch it together, make sure everything works out well and if everything's approved. I will send it to her. She puts it on the schedule for YouTube and um, it, let's say it again. Then we all watch it together. Yeah, then we all watch it. And uh, that's that's how we do it. <laughs> we got four more left. Yeah. Gotta do it four more times. We got it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So Except that's... for a lot of recording, um, we already have actually most of the recordings done for every character. Now that I mm -hmm. think about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. For... being me because I have to manage other things on the show. But yeah, yeah like Sonic yeah. and Man and uh, mm -hmm. all of our special guests are all all done. Yep, yeah, yeah. Everything's yeah, everything's together. Everything's pretty much been written. the The final art is is being uh, everything's being worked on right now because now because pretty much all the production stuff is pretty much kind of done, like all the pre pre pro stuff. So it's just full steam ahead um, until uh, to episode ten, and the road there is going to be insane. You all do not want to miss this at all. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Yes, yes. Um, I think we should talk about um, just stuff that has gone on behind the scenes. I think that would be <laughs> hilarious. Okay. Um, Who's starting? I'm going to start by making fun of Dorian. For okay. Yay. So every single time that me and Ryan record together, I point out every single time Dorian does a reference. So I'll be like, oh, yeah, that's a reference. Okay, yeah, you have to say it just like this. <laughs> um, episode six, we did we we were shown a line and neither me or Ryan understood the reference. That was super awkward. It was like <laughs> time. Wait, hold on. When when time is of the essence, or oh god, I don't remember. What was it? Well, wait, I, I, I remember. I can say it. Uh, Sonic says, "When fast thinking is of the essence, I'm the essence of fast thinking." Right. <laughs> when me and Ryan went through the script, I'm like. Why did he write this? Yeah, it seems so out of left field. 
and um, we were all, just yeah, thinking about it for a few minutes. Yeah. And uh, I think I think so. What normally happens whenever Dorian writes something super crazy, um, I'll be like, "Hey, Ryan, can we do like an alternative?" line just in case uh so me and ryan had to like come up with like other ways of saying that and i don't remember we were like oh yeah i i I think as fast as i run and and stuff like that right because we were we're like we have no idea what this is and after i got out of the session with ryan um i like called dorian i said what is the meaning of this (laughs) (laughs) what is this line and i didn't catch it the first time normally before i give the script to any actor i'll catch it but like i didn't catch it so as me and ryan are going through it i was caught completely off guard and i'm like dory dorian what is this and he's like it's a reference it's adventures of sonic the hedgehog and he had to show it to me and i'm like okay fine i guess we'll put it in there but yeah. that was so weird <laughs> oh i love it yeah because she yeah, because she was like, okay, so she called me and, and was like, what's going on here? Like, and I played it. I was like, oh, oh, you're not going to believe where it's from. She's like, what are you talking about? And I played it. She was like, oh, my God. <laughs> 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 and so, yeah, it was, um, yeah, I usually do, oh, good Lord, I usually do a lot of those, um, a lot of references oh, I, on there. An understatement. <laughs> right, right. Were, were right. there any ones that stood out to you at all? Oh, Did I'm you trying to think. That I mean, now that you mention up that fast thinking, thinking fast, whatever that was, that yeah, that one popped <laughs> out. Um, no oh boy, I'm trying to search my memory banks, but I remember there was at least like two every episode. At mm-hmm. least. At least. At least. Yeah. Where, at least. Yeah. Where Emmy was just like, "Oh, do you remember this one?" And I'm like, "20 years ago." And she's like, "Okay, well, it goes just like this, you know." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, lots yeah. of references. I'm like, oh yeah, this is from a game you've never, you weren't even in, so I have to. Right. How it was <laughs> all this stuff. None of it makes any sense, but here's how you say it. And thanks yeah. to the World Wide Web, you can usually come up with a clip like within five seconds and say, here's what it <laughs> is. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. So another, so another second story. Probably only have one for another one. Room for another one, but like story okay i have one um <laughs> so this was on mark the date december 24th no wait december 23rd this is december 23rd 2020 i am in the middle of making episode five. five i'm making episode five and so we had it slated for christmas that's when it was supposed to come out and so i'm working on the episode i'm talking to Amy at the same time and then all of a sudden i'm like oh no she's like what well, like Amy, the whole episode is gone she's like it's like <laughs> that was that was no no but, but 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 no seriously like what what did happen? I'm like Emily, the entire episode is gone. I don't know what happened, but I but so so I work in in Premiere and Adobe Premiere, and for whatever reason, each asset was getting deleted, and then when I tried to restart the program, everything was gone, and then the entire computer got fried, and so I'm like I don't know what to do, and so um, I tried. Putting it, uh, to, putting the the memory back in time to go back to the assets that I had, but nothing was there. Like most of our stuff was gone. So, the and what sucked is that the episode was done. We had the score, we had everything. I was doing the final thing to put up for for her to have on the twenty fourth to schedule it, and it was all gone completely. And we were freaking out about it. And I was like, you know what, I I, I need to. I'm, I'm just gonna go to bed. So I went to bed to process what was going on. And uh, when I woke up the next morning, I tried taking my computer to the computer shop to see what was going on. Um, he could not help me, uh, our computer guys. I was like, oh, oh God. So our only option was that I had to make the entire episode again, again. in less than 24 hours. <laughs> so. Well, so it was actually so, supposed to come out on the 23rd, not the 24th. It was supposed to come out on the 23rd. Yeah, and okay. I'm like, Dorian, this is a Christmas kind of episode. Like, they're they're wearing Christmas attire in the episode. It can't come out after the 25th. What do we do? Yeah, yeah, because I was like, like right, give me yeah, cause, yeah. Cause, well, right, because I was like, because I was like, um, I was like, oh, okay, well, like it's winter. Can we do this on New Year's? No. She's like, no, <laughs> it has to be Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, and so I had to hurry up and, and um and get the episode done in less than twenty four hours. And thank God I was able to do it, and we got the episode out on time. It's a <laughs> Christmas <laughs> miracle, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like I was in so much pain. I was just like, I don't just edge hugs and 
snow. There was just so much was going on. Literally, when he told me, like, yeah, the episode's, it's not here. I thought he was, like, trying to be funny. Because I was, like, hey, where's the episode? Hey, where's the episode? So I thought he was trying to be, like, oh, if you keep poking me on where the episode is, something, a freak accident, uh, accident's going to happen. I'm going to lose the episode. And so when he said it, I'm like, it's not funny, Dorian. Right. <laughs> yes, it was like... <laughs> and so I like okay like one more thing about this story what was so funny was that she kept asking me where the episode was I literally took a picture like you know I, I after the panel's over if the panel's over uh, I actually sent it to her so she can upload it onto Twitter but just like I had I was it was my hand going here it is this is the episode and that was the last photo of it alive <laughs> so so yeah that so yeah that that goofy thing uh happened with that one so yeah it was a uh, it was a time it, uh, you know actually i still have like the little the little uh to-do list i had to do i was like okay i got this done i need to do the sound effects like i gotta upload that but i still have that little uh scrap piece of paper that i had to draw this up with yeah. <laughs> a couple oh, people oh, in the chat man. are all like watch out you're gonna computer crash ah. <laughs> <laughs> watch out, you're gonna computer oh my god that's great um okay <laughs> Let's go ahead and make four, though. Um, right. we actually, we have a sneak peek to show you guys of episode seven. Right? Yeah, this one didn't actually get deleted. Yeah, Yay. we actually knock have on, it. Knock on so <laughs> with that, um, here is our sneak peek of episode seven. The uh, music is a placeholder. Um, we're using official Sonic Adventure music. That will not be in the final. All right, here we go. Enjoy. land right over there. It's a good thing I put in a landing gear this time. Nice going, Tails. <laughs> Thanks. Don't worry. I got it all under control. I forgot how big this thing was. It's like a giant mall. No doubt that egghead's holding the emeralds here somewhere. Oh no. I was afraid of this. What's up? Look, the readings are randomly scattered all over the ship. He must be using the emeralds to power this thing. But, but I still think we can find them. Look at this. See how these signals are shaped like laser beams? Those are power conduits flowing with the emeralds' energy. Hmm. Well, there's got to be a source somewhere, right? I don't see a single space that's significantly stronger than the others. There's a lot of them. And luckily, there's one right here, not too far from us. Sweet. Let's go get them. Are we there yet? It should be the last door right down this hall. 12, 2014. 12, 2014. 12, 2015. Yeah, it should be the store right down the hall. Here we go. 12, 2016. The source is right behind this door. All right, stand back. What? What are you... Wait, there it was. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh man, I can't wait for episode seven. <laughs> <laughs> excited <laughs> it's a good one it's a really good one yeah yeah like yeah this one yeah this one um this is this one's gonna turn out really 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 well i um this was uh this was another moment sorry i had to <clears throat> kill my throat there um okay. yeah this um yeah it's gonna be really really cool um yeah this one's a really really super important episode so definitely check this one out it's like one of those uh things trying to go so, gonna start kicking into over overdrive where uh yeah, no going back at this point. So, um, yeah, hope y'all are excited. It comes out in July. Um, still trying to kind of get a beat on what exactly the date is for that, but it will be here in July. Next one. Yep, yep, yep. That cliffhanger. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
I wonder what's behind that door. What is behind that door? <laughs> oh man. Should be interesting to see what goes on. I mean, you know, this is the this is the Egg Carrier 3, so I mean if you don't remember this the Egg Carrier at Sonic Adventure, there are so many weird things behind doors. You don't yeah, have a bathroom could be in there. Could be anything. Right? All it could right. be anything. It's a hometown door. buffet. <laughs> right? Sonic just opens the door like, what? Boom? <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, and, and by the way, before we continue on to the next thing, you both did absolutely amazing so far oh, on that. Thank you. thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And you know what? In fact, when I was editing it, I sent uh, I sent him a message. I was like, you and Ryan are doing a really good job on this. And good <laughs> oh, lord. I'll yeah. have all of you know that I had to record over 100 lines for this episode. Yeah, that was your big episode, was it not? Yeah. It's yeah. a big one. It's a big one. I had to record over 100 lines. <sighs> You're welcome. It was it was tough. You know what? You know, like like a real real quick something funny about episode six. Another you know, piece of trivia thing was like, I said it would for episode six. And she's just like, okay, let's see what Tails does. Uh huh. Uh huh. And uh, where's the rest of it? I'm like, he's, <laughs> he's not like he comes at the end. I'm like, but don't worry, you're gonna have a lot more episodes. Than this. <laughs> We're making up for the fact that I got pushed aside for Shadow the Hedgehog. And episode seven is a Tales episode. Yes, yes, it is. Yeah, and uh, and uh, oh, I'm just, I, I know I keep doing this. One more fun fact. Um, the, the, in in terms of Tales being the lead, that was uh, the idea that was actually inspired by uh, an episode of of uh, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog called Tales in Charge, which was um, which was uh, one of my favorite episodes when I was a kid. In fact, like one of the first ones I ever saw of Sonic ever. So there's there's a thing there. And there are lots of characterization points here in the episode that were heavily inspired off of Sonic X. Yeah. Because that is my favorite my favorite version of Tails, and so we have to put lots of that in here. Yes, we did. All right. So I think with that, let's go ahead and open up our Q&A. So, Anyone got any questions? Yeah. So for the chat, um, all three of us were open to answering some questions. Um, for the next 20 or so minutes, uh, and then we'll wrap up with, um, what is it? We, we have a, a, some little, some goodies to give you guys. So we'll do a Q&A for a little bit, and uh, yeah. Hey, the Sonic Maybe. Energy just uh, said, Emmy, remember when you and Ryan did improv on one of your charity live streams? Oh, yeah. Wasn't it, <laughs> do you remember that? I was, just, I was like sitting in a parked car, like in the dark somewhere. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> and it was something about racing down a mountain to get a chili dog or something yeah I, mm -hmm. it was like a race or something i can't i can't quite remember the great mm -hmm. chili dog race yes the great I, chili I dog race. That. and i think and i think sonic won but sonic still shared his chili dogs so that, that was, was it good. that's right yeah yes. that was a good time yeah sonic yes there. yeah 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 yeah, like yeah, I actually remember that. That was really fun. In fact, that's that's when I um that's that's when I when I met you, like voice wise. Was it? Uh, yeah, it was. That was two thousand sixteen. Was that sixteen? Has it been five yeah. years, really? Oh God, it's been five years. Yeah. Sorry right. to blow your mind with math, but yeah. <laughs> Guys, what is your yes. favorite episode? Oh goodness. Uh, Ryan, you want to go first? Uh, no, you go first while I mull it over. Okay. okay. Uh, my favorite episode is... Oh, good lord. Um, Can we say, like... It's like Sophie's Choice. Is it, is it out of the yeah. ones that have already come out yet? Or are we allowed to say, oh, it's one that hasn't come out yet? Maybe um, we can do both. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do both. Uh, yeah, so, so just, like, whatever episode, like, if it's out or not. So my favorite episode that I've worked on would probably have to be... Oh man, because like I loved six, but I also loved three. Mm. I loved three so much. That was so much fun. Yeah, I was gonna say six too, not to be predictable, but it's like kind of <laughs> like when you're working on something like this, you know, just by you know normal human behavior, you get you get more into it, you get better. Dorian, you can probably speak to the fact that like editing the first one took this long, but mm. by the time you got to the fourth episode, you were doing it quicker because you were just better at it um yep. at doing this particular series and and i think that the series just kind of gets better as we go so yep. i'm going to be kind of predictable and and boring and just say six was my favorite just because i think that it's just kind of the natural progression of things Absolutely. i don't think that's a boring answer at all i think a lot of people love six yeah yeah 
Yeah, six blew up for sure. I think for me, um, it'll be it's I'm, I'm really caught because I, I like scenes. So like for episode two, I really love the cave scene, but like I also just love the entirety of episode five because of what's going on in the episode. It's like this wintry thing. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. Doing and I also yeah. really love our surprises that we did where Sonic and Tails get knocked out at the end and we have our to call reveal and our shadow reveal right at the end. And so I think that was probably one of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. Uh, the singing mm. Skylark says, uh, what is your favorite part about playing the role as Sonic over the years? And how do you get into character? Um, that I'll try and be as brief as possible. That the uh, the getting into character thing for anyone who has ever kind of heard my Sonic Voice origin story was very very simple. I walked into the booth at the audition, and there was a picture of Sonic up on the wall, and they said, "If you could imagine a voice coming out of this blue hedgehog, what would it sound like?" Three, two, one, go. And so I didn't have any time to think about it. It just came out. And then immediately, the uh, the representatives from Sega were just like, yeah, we really like that. Can you do the rest of the script with that particular voice choice? And so I just did, and it's been that way ever since. So I, I don't really have to get into character per se. It's just something that, it's like a switch that, that flips, and then there it is. Um, and I've been doing it for so long that uh, uh, <laughs> it, it, just, it, just, uh, it just comes out. Um, and the favorite part about being a Sonic over the years is definitely the friendships that I've made through. I mean, it, yes, it's absolutely cool to like, you know, play a video game and hear your voice in it and all that. And that's, and that's, that's awesome. But it, it also is just kind of part of the job. And what never gets old for me is when I hear people say things like, you know, you playing the games was my escape when I was a kid. Uh, I've talked to, probably thousands of people over the years where they're just like, I had a really difficult childhood. I had a really bad home life. I had a really, you know, I had a tough time doing this or, or this part of my life, or they had a death in the family, whatever it was. And like playing the games um, got me through that time. And that was my, that was my oasis. That was where I went when I needed to get away from real life. And that's why I'm so invested in the franchise and in the characters and you know, you just really, uh, when I hear your voice, it reminds me of good times. And it's like, could I, could I ever have a, a compliment that's better than that? I mean, that's to, to be someone's oasis from, from difficult life situations. Like, is there any better job in the world? Like, I can't think of anything. Right. I'm, yeah. It's just, uh, it's just amazing. Like when people are, people are so kind, people are so kind. And, uh, it's been really fun to, to be a part of it for so long. Yeah. That's yeah. Great. That's awesome, man. For sure. All right. We have, what is your favorite moment so far in Sonic and Tails are to all of us? Uh, okay. I'll go ahead and start. Uh, my favorite moment so far is, okay. My favorite moment so far is, um, is, uh, at the end of episode four, when, uh, Tails, when Tails has a moment when he is, uh, being honest with with Sonic about why exactly it is he's striving to be uh, to be just l like him, you know, not in this sense of like, you know, it's like, well, you know, when you're not here, I need to take over. It's just kind of more of the sense of like, you know, because of who you are and what you do, um, you know, you you inspire me to to be that way and take care of things and also like you know sort of be a, a beacon of, of hope for other people. And actually, to mm -hmm. to piggyback off of what Ryan was saying, um, my experience. Um, uh, you know, uh, listening to, to Sonic, like, and just hearing, like, his, his voice bring life into that character as an escape for me when I was a kid, you know, with, with stuff that I had to deal with when I was young, that characterization of Tails and how we're handling the story from, from, from a writing's perspective was inspired by that uh, element of my life. So that's where that came from. Cool. Yeah. Um, I think my favorite scene is the cave scene in episode two, and for similar reasons, <laughs> because I, I looked at I, I look at tail uh, I looked at tails um, as sort of my inspiration, and I felt like I related to him so much. And um, like tails, I feel like so often in my life I would look to somebody else and be like, yeah, I want to be like this, but I was never the one that was, I guess, good enough. And um, I think a scene like that cave scene, I don't know, it was really amazing being able to bring something like that 
uh, to life in a scene. And I, I got to take part of that because I don't know, I like, I, I was able to kind of draw from that personal experience. And I, I just, I love what Sonic and Tails, you know, as they're like with their friendship, I love what we're kind of creating with that. Mm. Yeah, to piggyback on that, like, I, I, I can't pick a specific moment per se, but I'm just thinking like, over everything that we've recorded, whenever Sonic and Tails like kind of have a moment, like I love the action scenes and I love the the drama of the series and that's what makes it fun. Um, mm -hmm. But whenever Sonic and Tails get to share a scene where it's like they really get to just be with each other and and like, you know, make each other uh, a better, I was going to say a better person, but uh, better animals. Um, <laughs> Those are like the these the scenes that kind of touch your heart. Those are kind of my favorites of the series. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. And then explosions. Yeah, they, they, a close second. The anything explosion. that blows up, I love that too. You know, I I didn't realize that. Like when I had the, when when they blew up in in, in fire, I was like, wow, they 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 get blown up a lot. Oh yeah, they get blown up all the time. <laughs> We're always firing but, something and it's blowing up here and there. Right, right. It's just like you just like this victory, ha! Then bam, they just explode, and I'm just like, just cheese. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, someone asked, uh, did we ever? Did the three of us ever expect Sonic and Tails are to be um, to the point where it is now? Um, I guess I can start by going. Uh, actually, no. Um, I, I I did not expect the. Well, well, like just how much it's it's meant to people. I mean, when it's kind of getting to the point where people are like, are, are you know, making a have a huge demand for a song that was in episode six, like people really like yeah. want, wanting it. I was not expecting that, and and you know, hearing stuff like, like, hey, like I watched this series with my son. You know, it's it's things yeah. like that that yeah, that really really get me when we're looking at this. So I was not expecting that at all. No. Yeah, I also wasn't really expecting it. Um... I thought, you know, from the beginning, I'm like, yeah, I think I think a decent amount of people are going to really like this, but um, just how much or just how many of those people would really love it and, like, those moments that you just said, like, oh, yeah, I'm watching this with my kids. Um, that's my favorite, and I didn't expect anything like that in particular, and it's so it's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? For you, Ryan. Sorry, what? <laughs> We're um, asking like what, um, yeah. but like what, like, uh, but did you expect uh, Sonic? Oh yeah, did expect. Um, yeah. No, um, y you know, um, I like Amy said, it was like you know we knew it was gonna be cool for some people. Um, you know the the community a as a whole is big, um, but you never know who's gonna be into it because certain people like certain things. Uh, everybody likes something different about the series. And so you're like, are some people going to think, oh, this is not canon, you cannot do this, you know, or are people going to be like, oh, this is exactly what I wanted to kind of, you know, get more, uh, more stories out of the characters that I already love. So um, mm -hmm. I've been, I've been really, really pleased that it's been overwhelmingly positive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 totally. And oh, like, here's a, here's another one real quick. Uh, someone says, uh, let's see. Have you ever thought about having a continued series after this, or maybe a spin-off series with Shadow and Rouge, or a series with Sonic and Shadow, with Shadow playing a bigger part uh, in the series? Um, okay, so like we, we made an uh, announcement at the beginning of the panel that there was going to be something called uh, Sonic and Tails R Plus that's going to cover um, what other characters were doing, some that have appeared, and some that are going to be um, they're going to be uh, uh, specials in that I guess you could say comic spin-off. So. Uh, just just look forward to that so we're just um yeah so, yeah. so to answer that question yeah we're we, we have like there are plans for other characters but uh not exactly going to reveal who's going to be doing what or what their roles are going to play you just have to see yeah. in september um here's a good one are there going to be any other sonic game references in future episodes i think we could safely say yes right <laughs> yes we have this in episode i mean it's me it's point. i mean I mean, it's me we're talking right, about. Dorian. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, if Dorian's involved, you know, you're gonna get these little Easter egg things everywhere. <laughs> it's really funny because I keep trying to sneak like 
They keep trying to sneak like little ones in there, see like if, if anyone's going to pick up on them. Oh, the universe Thanks. is in the details. I love that. I love that. Thanks. And I love Thanks. how like even if it's something really obscure that even Emmy are like and I are like, what was that? You know, but <laughs> you know that somebody's going to get that and they're going to go, oh my god, that speaks directly to me because that was my favorite line and they actually said it or you know. That was a line yeah. that me and my siblings used to say to each other back when we were kids or whatever the case may be. But that's, yeah. that's why I love those little things because it's really going to hit the nail on the head for somebody. Yeah, yeah thanks. But yeah, yeah, like you actually hit the nail right on the head because like, yeah, I think you mentioned this earlier, earlier too. It's like a giant sonic quilt, you know, and it's like, yeah. it's, it's supposed to be like, yeah, like you, um, you know, you, you like adventure, it's not the hedgehog and Saturday a.m. You know, you can come over here and hang out with us. You like adventure and the 4K stuff, come on down. You like the modern right. stuff today, hey, we got something for you, you know? Everybody's welcome. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We got references for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> for days. Days, I say. So let's see. Uh, Cheyenne and, says, how do you get the official voice actors in the series? Ask nicely. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> I, don't know about, I don't know about that. I don't want this to encourage anybody to bombard any voice actors. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I, think it, I think it's safe to say, you know, regarding, regarding the series in particular, um, we didn't necessarily go out of our way to, find, you know, reach out to anybody that we didn't already know to some type of extent. Um, having established, you know, acquaintanceships are, are pretty, pretty important in situations like this in particular. Um, so that's sort of, I guess, how that happened, you know, with yeah. Ryan in particular. Like with Ryan, we're already friends, and we wanted to do something as Sonic and Tails for a pretty long time, and yeah. so it it started off like that, and we kind of five years ago with the Chili Dog Race, apparently. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and there are like, some there's some rules and protocols that have to be followed. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I probably get like every other day I'll get a request for, can you do the Sonic voice from my fan dub? Can you do my, you know? And those are things that generally I can't do um, because there is some. There is some, um, how shall I put this? There's some uh, contract terms. There's some legal stuff that needs to be followed. It's all very boring and not, you know, interesting at all. Um, but <laughs> there's there's a there's a limit on the things that that I can do officially. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, so this was something that was um, blessed <laughs> by the Sonic <laughs> demons and angels. And uh, <laughs> so, yeah, 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 totally. Like, like it's it's a thing where um, like a lot of the decisions that are made uh, like what what the what the story like of the characters number one, but like a lot of who we can have involved and why and who can say what and things. You know, there's there's a lot that has people uh, behind the scenes to make sure that stuff gets cleared and stuff is okay. And, you know, it, it, it's it's a process to get yeah. that stuff going. Yep. Yeah. Um, here's a great question. When it comes to uh, developing fan projects like Sonic and Tails are, is there any advice that you'd want to give to those who want to make their own project revolving around the Sonic universe? Yes. Um, I Okay, I will definitely say, um, ha okay, make sure that you're having fun. Because I, I've been I've been a part of doing like Sonic fan projects for a long, long, long period of time. And oh. a lot of the, yeah, and a lot of the things that people get so hopped up on is you know, like, we're sticking you officially to, to the canon, and you asked me this, and it needs to be that, and just all these different things. Like, just make sure that you're having fun with, with the process, and to also make sure that um, you know what you're getting yourself into, and you have a vision for what you want to create. I, I can't tell you how many projects I've been a part of where you have people making a big deal out of what they're going to make, and then it turns out to either not come out, or it gets stuck in a long, long hiatus till, well, it eventually dies. So... You know, have have yeah. a vision, have something you genuinely want to do with the characters, and just remember to have fun. Everything will come together. Another thing, focus on that. another thing that I'd like to say as well is, you know, if you're going to be doing it in a group, make sure that I, I would try to keep the group as small as humanly possible. I think, um, like Dorian oh, yeah. said, we, we've been a part of uh, quite a bit of fan projects, and they'll be huge, and there'll be like 100 people in the group, and because of that, um, you can't really depend on every single person to, to get what they need to get done, and I think that can cause projects to get, you know, kind of hectic. So make sure, if you're going to do a project, uh, keep the group amongst people that you trust um, to, mm. you know, do what they need to do on the project so things could get finished. But yeah, have fun, for sure. Yeah. Oh, and, and, and one more thing. Uh, put egos aside. 
Yeah. Um, oh, sorry. Were, were you going to continue? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I thought you were. No, that down. was, I that was great. I, I completely agree. Putting egos okay. aside. But yes, yeah. I think we only have time for maybe a couple more for, uh, questions. So let's go ahead and let's take let's take maybe two or three more questions. We'll have to make them as quick as possible. So we'll have to answer our questions kind of quick. Um, right, cool. Let's um, if I can look at this one from Cookie Star Twenty Two, uh, personally pursuing being a voice actress in the future, what do you recommend to newbies like me? Uh, this is a question I get literally every day. Like, I want to get into voice actors. Do you have any advice? And for those who have been around my Twitter at all for the last few years, I've kind of, I've, uh, I've said a bunch of different things over the year years, but I've kind of settled on one particular answer, and that if you want to get into voice acting. Um, make sure that you train as an actor. Yes. That is my that is my biggest because I, people often think you know oh I can do like ten different voices or I can you know I can change my voice and all that's important true 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 but if you if you don't have the acting skills to pull off a script so that it sounds natural mm -hmm. you you won't be able to to be hired if if that's what you're looking for if you're if you mean the kind of voice actor that actually does it for a job and makes money at it etc. You have to be able to to pull off to to make a script sound natural, um, and you should really take acting classes to figure out what makes it sound like you're living a script rather than reading a script. Yes, that's that's a very that's a very good answer. That's my advice for newbies and anybody nice. actually. Nice. Uh, will there be new characters in Sonic and Tails R? Unfortunately, we are not going to be spoiling uh, anything <laughs> regarding any more cameos. We're not going to share anything, so you'll have to tune in to find out. Yeah, that's the fun part. I think, yeah, I think we have time for maybe one more question uh, regarding Sonic and Tails R. I'm trying, I'm trying to take a look. Do you see anything, Dorian? Uh, let's see what, what, what we got here. Um, let's see. Let's try to find like a good a good question. Um, a good ending question. Good ending question. Um, what is the meaning of life? Well, let me let me uh, let me get my chair up for this one. Um, <laughs> 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 let's see what we got here. Uh, let's see, um, like a good ending one. Uh, let's see now. Favorite? Did we cover this? His favorite part of the process after working on oh. the series. We haven't got. We haven't done that. The uh, favorite part of the process. Okay. Yeah, what's your favorite right. part of the process, Dorian? All right, my favorite part of the process is definitely uh, writing. I, I love to write. Um, I love uh, I love focusing on the on the psychology of characters and just sort of putting them in the situation where where their personalities and their wants and needs kind of kind of like um, kind of uh, make a map of how they interact and the things that they do. Um, I love to write. So yeah, the writing part for sure. For me, um, it'll always be. Two, two different things. Uh, one, being able to bring certain characters back in a certain type of way. So, if, you know, we feel like certain characters haven't been, you know, quite themselves in a while. It's really fun for me and Dorian to, like, go over, okay, we're going to actually have them behave like this with sort of a mix of these type of uh, games and attributes in mind. But also yeah. uh, bringing Tails to life. I love him so much. and I, I love being able to to bring uh, that, that boy back to life in a way that inspired me. What about you, Ryan? Uh, yeah, I would that's, assume it would that's be voice in the character. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna piggyback exactly on what you just said. You know, Sonic to me has been like a best friend that I've had my whole life, and so whenever I get a chance to do him, especially in an official concept like this, um, in a in a project such as Sonic and Tails are, it's like I get to hang out with my boy from way back in the day. You know, <laughs> and how how fun is that? I mean, it's just it's it's so fun to do. It just whenever I get this, when I would get the scripts and we'd do the recording sessions, it was just all fun all the time. It was really great. <laughs> awesome. That's, that's a great answer. All right, guys. Yeah, for that sure. is all the time we have for questions. We're going to go ahead. Thank you guys so much for showing up and asking your questions. We really appreciate it. Um, we do have to get going, but before we go, um, we have goodies for you. Uh, to celebrate the first anniversary of Sonic and Tails R, um, we actually have some some wallpapers for you. Um, Shane, if you can go ahead and, and show those off. I will be posting these on my Twitter account right after the panel. Yeah, here they are, little Sonic and Tails. They're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> this is my Dorian. <laughs> yes, 
Yes, I, I made these. Uh, okay, so there are variants for, for your things. So we have um, different ones for, for your desktop, and we also have ones for your smartphone. Yep, yep. there's smartphone ones right there. Yeah, we just want to thank you guys so much for, for being here and supporting Sonic and Tails R uh, from the beginning. Happy anniversary to Sonic and Tails R episode one. Happy anniversary to Sonic and Tails R episode one. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks and for listening, that, everybody. We really oh, appreciate yeah. you guys um, being on board with us for this project. It's really, it's, it's been great. Let's keep doing. It. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Absolutely, guys. Yeah. Like it is. It's been a huge honor to work on this project and seeing you guys' reactions to whenever we release one and your anticipation to see what we do next is truly, truly inspiring. And uh, I can't wait for you guys to see what we have planned for you. Thank you guys so much. Uh, and I think that is the end of the panel. We'll catch you guys later. Yeah. Yep. Thank right, you, guys. Fun, you guys. That's it. All right, guys. Uh, stay tuned. Coming up right next, we're going to have the IDW panel uh, here on uh, Twitch. Uh, please stay tuned.